All right, guys, I want to show you this busted team that I made myself. The team cost $110. It is a triple aqua team. It's pretty busted. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm Blacked Out from Player vs. Meta, and let's show off this team. So starting off with my frontline Axie. My frontline Axie here has bubbles. The way bubble works is you can give you 70 shield and applies two stacks of bubble. What bubble does is it gives you a damage reduction based off of the bubbles that you have on your Axie. This is really, really nice because it's constant damage reduction. So if you only play one bubble on a certain Axie, you're always guaranteed that the damage that your opponent will do is reduced. Very, very strong. And if they do like a multi-hit deck, this is really good into a multi-hit deck because like I said, if they're doing 20 to 30 damage, on multi-hits but you have 10 bubbles on all your axes or you have two bubbles on stacked up on all your axes you're taking 10 less damage then on the front guy i'm running goldfish here to draw extra cards i really think this is very useful uh, having extra card draw is nice i'm also running clamshell i think you could swap this out for shoal star but clamshell is nice because it gives you a damage boost and then it's running and working with catfish i also have sleepless the reason why i'm running sleepless is it does 60 damage and applies days to your opponent's deck the way a daze works is it's an unplayable card that they can't get rid of out of their deck so it's just like a nice card that always gets shuffled through their deck whenever they redraw and they can never get rid of it so the smaller deck gets the more likely they are to draw a daze card then you have Nemo. You gain one energy and you can banish. For my midliner, I'm running an axi that is clear. What clear does is you discard two cards and then you draw that many. So it pretty much is you have to get rid of three cards and you get two back. It's actually really strong because if you have a bunch of cards that you don't want, or if you have the cards like the sword or the ethereal, they can get rid of them and they can get rid of it out of your hands. Next, we have Piranha. It applies a bleed to the target. So whenever they play a card, they lose 15 HP. This is great as well. The thing is like with bubbles, it only would end up doing five damage if they have two bubble on themselves. You never really want to stack up three bubble because it does an AOE damage that does 20 damage to your opponent but unless you're going to reapply bubbles to yourself i don't ever think you ever want to break your bubbles next we're running shoal star deals 120 damage and will instantly kill an axi if it's below 120 hp this is nice because it's like a finisher pretty much so they can try and shield up an axi up to like 300 hp but if you've already taken it down to 120 this card will just finish it off Again, I have Goldfish for an initial and a draw card. I think having card draw is really, really strong. Being able to shuffle out a bunch of the bad junky cards in your hand and drawing back into really good ones. Then I'm running Nemo again. This gives me one energy and banish. For my backline, I'm running an Axie with Koi. Also, these runes and shards are going to be changed in the future. The, these are the only the ones I have currently at the moment, and that's the reason why I'm running with just what I have. But I have Koi, which what it does is it does 15 damage more per Aqua that you have. This is kind of my finisher. It does 160 damage. It's like a really good stroke strong opener as well so you can end up doing this to open up on your opponent and getting like 200 damage off and then hopefully try to draw into show star next turn and then if you do draw into show star you can end up giving them a finisher then next i have goldfish again i feel like card draw is king like you can get a bunch of these ethereal cards and being able to draw and get rid of any junky cards you have in your hand is just very very nice then i have this babylonia which applies weak also i would say if you're building yourself a custom deck don't play with more than like three initial cards the thing is they become kind of useless if you've already played your first card on your turn so having two to three initial cards is good, but having too many can also be bad. Next, I have Babylonia. This applies a week to my opponent. They deal 20% less damage to me. So pretty much if it comes down to it and we're in the 1v1 with my backline Axie, having a way to slow them down, make them do less damage to me is very, very nice. It slows down all they can do. And then if I'm playing bubble on top of that, I take even less damage. So it's like a double stacking effect. Then again, we have Bubble Maker, which does the 70 shield, which is really nice. And then we have Catfish here. I'm currently running a rune. That's why it's doing more damage, but I like Catfish because it does 60 damage and you heal back for a little bit so it's kind of a way for you to just like soak up a bit of damage and heal back at the same time and then for our last card we have this card which discards two cards from our hand and then it's banished so clear again pre-warning all things are subject to change so make sure if you're going to pick up a team now know that it may get nerfed and not be playable in two to three weeks so always think about what you're going to pick up before you pick it up and know for origins as well there's no earning potential currently so everything that you're playing is just for fun now we're going to hop into a round of pvp this will be a nice way for me to kind of show you how things play out and kind of how you want to do stuff so we're actually going against another guy that's running triple aqua as well so because we're going second we actually got the coin here you have a timer of 40 seconds to be able to play your cards so one thing to note in the top right hand corner you can see how much energy your opponent has and then you can also see kind of what cards they have this card is very strong because it increases all damage by 16. 
So Robin's actually pretty annoying here. I'm glad I have the coin so I can actually go for a lot of damage up. I'm going to try and just apply a bunch of damage to my opponent if I can. So we're going to definitely start off with this to give us an attack up as well as getting rid of that. We're next going to play bubble to stop a little bit of the damage incoming. And then I'm going to finish off with using the coin here and then going for a big attack. I think being able to use bubble is great. And you can see how he's still getting the extra bonus from Robin. Like having Robin and making it like a retain card is going to be super nutty. Really strong opening turn from my opponent. I'm still bleeding, so I'm taking five damage here. The cards I play on my frontliner. I can go for a heal as well, so let's go for that. We may be able to get a finisher off on him. Yeah, we're going to be able to finish, I think. Let's play this. And then we're just going to finish off with a shoal star. And then I do have these zero cost cards, but I'm just going to pass. So he's going to get a bunch of the bad cards into his hand, which is great for me. So you'll see here when my Axie dies, there's these ethereal cards that are called like revenge cards. Whenever your frontline Axie dies, like some of your cards can be transformed into these revenge cards. So you can see here, this is a really unlucky turn. Three of my cards got transferred into these revenge cards, which do like no damage and don't really do much for me. I'm lucky to have a draw card here. So I'm going to play a draw first and hopefully draw into something useful. Uh, that's good. I did draw in something useful, so I can apply a bleed. I'm going to definitely play the bleed, and then I'm going to just hit him for another attack as well. And then just play this one, which gives me free shield, so might as well play it. So you can see, as he attacks, he actually hurts himself. So every attack he uses actually hurts himself. He's applied Death Mark, which is actually really strong. Death Mark, whenever your opponent plays a card, it deals 13 damage per energy spent. So you can see how I've double debuff on myself. And then he just played bubble on himself, which is great for him. Again, all my cards are getting transferred into these revenge cards. I feel like a lot of people are going to complain about these revenge cards. They're very, very annoying to uh, end up drawing. So we're definitely going to play bubble here to start us off. I'm almost tempted to play like a double bubble. I think playing Koi is fine. So now if he attacks, he'll take five damage. So if he plays two cards on his frontliner, his frontliner is going to die. Also, just so you know, there is no earning potential currently in Origins. So the only thing you're hitting is Moon Shard. That stuff is not something that's going to be on-chain currently to start off. So there's no like earning potential. It's just for testing purposes for the next like couple months. So this is great. I actually have a pretty decent hand. We can also ditch some cards here. I'm going to start off by just hitting him with a weak just to get a kill. Or I can actually just use this to get a kill with it, which is fine. And then here, I'm just going to apply a bleed onto him. Next card, I'm going to apply this to make him so he do, does less damage. And now he just deals less damage. The one thing I would like is to be able to see how many turns these stacks are on him. But the thing is, currently, it does not show how many stacks they have or how long it's going to last. So you can see three of my cards got transformed. But the nice thing, again, is I do have this draw here. So we're going to go for a draw. Another transform card. Very, very unlucky. Uh, nice thing is we do have Catfish to heal ourselves up. And then also we can just go for a Revenge for some extra damage on him. Apply Shield. He has 20 HP left and it's going to be game over. And this is why you can see how this deck is so strong. I have a lot of ways to Revenge do damage back to my opponent. I can apply Beads so that whenever they attack, they take damage back. I also have ways to make it so my Axes take attack downs and heals ups. I feel like this team is very, very, very strong. I have not lost in the arena yet and I don't plan to, <laughs> to lose anytime soon. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.